Hello everybody, today I've got something a little bit different. I found something that I just thought it'd be interesting to share with you. Um, Christian Louboutin. Um, some of you may already know, some of you may not. They're really famous, really more in women's footwear. They're very famous for the high-heeled, um, and I'll show you an example here. Uh, Christian Louboutin are famous for the red-soled high-heeled dress shoes for women. Now they do also make men's dress shoes, and I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen a man wearing them um, but um, I think they start at somewhere around seven hundred dollars and they go up to about two grand okay so they're probably one of the most faked shoes out there and I just had a little experience here I, uh, I thought I'd share with you guys I'm by no means an expert on them but even just through you know one day of doing some research and you know I've seen some other things about them before but really digging into it just in some off time in a day it's amazing how much you can learn uh, but I'm gonna show you what I found here at a local thrift store um, which I'm 99% sure is a fake Christian Louboutin uh, men's dress shoe um, almost fit me so uh, let's go I'll show you what I found and uh, this will also help you decide just what is a quality dress shoe okay uh, something that I've hit on a lot of the times in my other videos so let's go hello everybody it's Robert Powers four and a half out of five my shoe collection some stains there let's get a nice lather here is the finished product I'm not a professional How tight this is though a pair of Allen Edmonds torn apart that to me is a proper mirror shine so here it goes and here they are finished up Okay, so here are the shoes in question. Now you can see uh, this is a loafer. It's a patent leather loafer. So this would be a, uh, um, but I believe this would be an appropriate dress shoe to wear like with a tuxedo, okay? And you can see the patent leather. You can see the Christian Louboutin logo up here. And the price they had them at the thrift store was $50. Now, by the way, 50 bucks. If you look at, for example, I'm going to show you here an actual sold listing from eBay uh, of Christian Louboutin. That's not it. Uh, this one right here is a copy of an actual sold listing, $750, and you can see here there's wear. Okay, there's clearly wear on the shoes, and they sold for uh, uh, $750, okay, used, right? So let me show you their website. So here's a very similar shoe, and this uh, model is called the Dandelion Flat. You see here, $795, right? And you can see the black patent leather. Um, even though I believe the price is you're paying clearly for a name, okay? And one of the big reasons uh, with this, the name, you know, recognition, for example, I've said before, Alan Edmonds, it's hard to identify an Alan Edmonds, you know, just from wearing it, okay? Um, people generally buy Alan Edmonds because they're a quality shoe or, you know, something like that. Where these have this obnoxious, the very famous red leather soles, right? So these, uh, you know, you're getting more of a name, okay? Um, but that being said, when a shoe is $800, people will still expect extremely high quality. So let's look at some of the features. First of all, you notice the heels on all their shoes, and usually high quality shoes, this part is not flat, it's arced. Now we see this is uh, red uh, leather, okay, with rubber, one, two, three, four, five brass nails. And I can't say that all of them have brass nails, but all the ones I looked at do. Now here, uh, here's something else. Christian Louboutin logo, made in Italy. It's all in caps. There is a space between the made, between the in, between the Italy, but it's pretty close. Also, when you have a half size, the half size is one slash two, not 0.5. Uh, that didn't apply in this case. It's not real easy to tell here, but can you see the gloss here and here? The, the edge all the way around there is beveled, okay? So you're going to see when you see these, the, the, especially here, not as much, but it's still on the waist as well, but it is beveled. In other words, it's not flat all the way across. And this is leather, okay? Um, so let me see if they have any more shots. So that's what a real one should look like. Let me show you a couple other shots of a real Louboutins. So here I'm going to show you a pair that's worn. And can you see, it's obviously leather, right? Because of the wear that comes through. Um, now these are supposedly real pair, although uh, they don't have the beveling, okay? Um, and no nailing, so, okay, let's skip that one. You know, and I'm pulling some of these photos I saw off of eBay. Um, there is a real Louboutin logo. Um, I'll come to that in a minute. Here's a good example. You see the brass nails, but look at the way the leather wears. This is what leather soles look like when they wear, okay? Um, and so let me go now to the ones in question. Now, first, there's a Malcolm Gladwell book, and in one of the chapters he talks about uh, a fake statue. 
that made um, headlines all around the world in the art circles. Long and short of it was, they thought it was an old, old, old statue, but it turned out to be a fake. And it took them months of research and digging and you know looking and examining to figure out that it was a fake. But what was interesting is the expert artist in question said that his first gut reaction when he looked at it uh, was fresh. Now, a thousand year old statue, you should not look at it and say that looks fresh. You know, it's a thousand years old. You know, in other words, new. My first gut reaction when I saw these shoes, part of me said, ooh, Le Boutins. You know, I knew that was a, you know, $800 shoe. But part of me also said, ew, was the other gut feeling. In other words, you see, it's like, it's a little wrinkly there. It's wavy there. If you look at even the insoles, you see the holes there, right? You know, in other words, the holes are not centered between the stitching. It's just not high quality. But I then I started excusing it, saying, well, maybe these were sitting on a shelf. Okay, wrinkles in the vamp because they were worn. These because they're not on a foot, because they could have been on a shelf. They could have been smushed in storage. Who knows? Um, but now let's look at the soles, okay? Oops. So first of all, if you notice here, there's really, it's a little bit of curving, but there's no beveling on the outside. That's not conclusive. But look, no nails, okay? And here's a big key. There's no arcing on the heels, right? So that to me is a big key, right? Um, now, let me keep going. You see the heels there, okay? You see the way it's wearing? It doesn't, and this is one of the other things I noticed, it doesn't look like leather to me. Now here's the logo. Let me zoom in on the logo, okay? So here's the logo. The logo is wrong. So it comes down, O, U, B, this O here, this line should cut across. Do you see where my cursor is? There should be a O like that. It's missing part of the die right there, okay? Their stamping die isn't accurate, okay? Um, and let me show you, compared to a real one, what that logo should look like. So in other words, the stamping die of the fake is, um, you know, not very high quality. The, the, the crest here, the top of the C looks different, right? But you can see right there, there's clearly, it does cut through the O and also the I, okay? Uh, the I is different. Um, they didn't do as a good job. Here's another, oops, um, I don't know what happened just now. Here's another. Um, no, this is the same fake one. Uh, here's another real one. You see the O, the slash goes through the O there and the separate I, okay? So, um, now let me also show you the logo on the insole. So, in this next picture coming up, here's a real Christian Louboutin. Again, the C is part of the L, okay? We see the O here, U, B, O with a loop through it, U, T, I. Now notice the I, okay, here versus here on the fake one. This is the, there's the thrift store one. The I, do you see what they did? The I, that part of their stamping die, what they do is this is a stamping die. They have gold foil sheet and then it's hot pressed into the leather, right? So their stamping die that they copied is inaccurate, okay? Uh, in other words, the I should be separate. Okay, you can see there, that part right there. And also, you can see there where the arrow is, it's just sloppy, you know, it, it's, it's not smooth. You know, you get an $800 shoe, that logo is going to be perfect, if that makes sense, okay? So, again, here's a, a supposedly another real pair. Let's skip that one, because that one's a little bit questionable. Um, but you can see how sharp the logo is, okay? Um, here's another pair of leather-soled. Uh, the way the leather wears. So let me also get to what I wanted to show was the tips of the toes of the ones in question. This right here was one of my giveaways. Let me zoom in. This is a hard photo to get. This is the corner of the toe. And this material to me looked like, it looked like a, uh, some sort of, I don't know if it's vinyl or whatever, but some sort of uh, rubber plastic material, you know, polyurethane or something like that, that was made to look like leather. So in other words, this corner chipped, it just doesn't look like leather under there to me. You know, in other words, this corner is the wrong color. Um, and even outside of that, just the way, you know, they're not, these things are not new. Um, like even some of these spots is really not uh, like the white color of leather. Some of those is actually dust from the floor, right? So I didn't see the worn areas wear into the leather like it should. So this to me, it's hard to tell, you know, new shoe, you can smell it. These, you know, you can't tell, they don't have an odor. 
Um, but uh, this looked like to me, it's not even the leather. And again, no beveling. It's, you know, just got a gentle curve on it, but for all intents and purposes, it's, it's flat. So um, based on those things, lack of nails, the wrong arc, uh, the logo being wrong, I could, you know, pretty much I, myself. Uh, here's another example. These are, what I'm going to show you is not the shoes that I was looking at, but see here, uh, real versus fake right there, the middle of this die, right? There's a piece of the die missing right there versus the real one, okay? has that detail in it right there. Um, so based on those things, I can pretty much confidently say that the uh, this model here was a fake. Uh, there's a logo. A little better shot of it. Um, there's one other thing I wanted to show you here is if we go back to a shot of the whole shoes, uh, you see there's a wrinkle here, right? So it's got a wrinkle there. It's just, you know, the quality just isn't there, you know, so that's what it is, a cheap fake, you know, something that uh, you know, maybe cost, maybe they're selling an $800 shoe, maybe it costs them 400. I don't know what it costs them to make, but my point is, you know, they can't spend as much to build it because they're making a fake. They're knocking it off and selling it for cheap, you know, so, uh, for whatever that's worth, um, even other things you look at, like the back of the heels here, right? This fit and finish on here, just, it didn't look right to me the way that's wearing off. It looked like plastic. Um, so those were some of the things that I saw. And so you got to buy or beware, you know, because uh, what if you're going to buy this to resell it? And, uh, you know, you pay 50 bucks for something, you sell it for a few hundred dollars on eBay, then, you know, wind up selling a fake, you could get in big trouble. So, so I guess uh, the point of all this is a buyer beware. Um, and you better, you know, be careful on what you're getting out there because who knows? Um, it was interesting because uh, fifty dollars for a shoe at the, this particular thrift store is like, you know, the highest price that you're probably ever going to see there. So they obviously know what Christian Louboutin is, but I wonder if they think they're selling a real one or a fake one. So uh, maybe they know. I don't know. So uh, hopefully that brought you a little bit of value. I don't know. Hopefully that entertained you a little bit. Um, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you later.